Welcome back guys again and this is lecture two and we're going to be working with numbers today. So let's talk about floating point numbers or floating point literals. A literal is the way a value is represented in the source code of the Perl program. Literally. So if we just open up a plain old notepad and just type the number 10 that's the value that's going to be represented inside our Perl program. It's data written directly into the source code. Again we can go in to our notepad and just type in numbers and those are the values directly associated with the source code. Numbers with and without decimal points are allowed. So whole numbers and of course floating point numbers with a decimal point. As well as tacking on a power of 10 indicator as well. So we can actually use exponential notation with the E notation for really big numbers. So for example, a exponential notation number is 7.25 exponential to times 10 to the 45th power. So all numbers have the same format internally to Perl. So Perl computes the double precision floating point values. So even if you just type a whole number as 10, 10, Perl is going to look at it as a floating point number, which is 10.0. This means that there are no real integer integer values internal to Perl. Again, Perl looks at all numbers as floating point numbers. An integer constant in the program is treated as the equivalent floating point value. Once again, so let's look at non-decimal integer literals. So Perl allows you to specify numbers in other than base 10 decimal format or regular whole, whole numbers. So we can use octal base 8 literals starting with a leading 0. So if we want to use a, a base 8 number or literal, we have to start with a leading 0. So we can actually use hexadecimal literals as well that starts with a leading 0x followed by the hexadecimal number. And it gives us a decimal number of base 10 to be converted from hexadecimal. The hex digits A through F or A through F lowercase represents the conventional digit values of A through 15. So A is 10, of course, B is 11, C is 12, and so on. So binary, binary is base 2. We can use base 2 literals that start with a leading 0B followed by the binary number. And we'll, and we'll use some of these in our examples as well. So, numeric operators. So, Perl provides the typical ordinary addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division operators, and so on. Perl also supports a modulus operator percent sign. The value of the expression 10 modulus 3 is the remainder when 10 is divided by 3, which is 1. So the op some of the operator examples are the plus sign, minus, multiplication, division, and I believe this is the power by um, two asterisks and then the mo modulus operator. Again, we're going to use all of these in some examples. So again, let's do some quick and fun examples. Okay, let's do some examples now. So let's start off with whole numbers or integer numbers. So if we just use our print statement, print, 
and let's just say the integer three or four and we and we'll use our mathematical operation um, operator four plus four equals eight so if we save our work click run script as we can see here it did our math operation four plus four equals eight okay and just to format it to make it look a little bit nicer I'll add two new line characters so again let me take this statement and let's do some more math so if I do 4.5 plus 4.3 but I change the plus sign to the to the multiplication sign let's see what happens so as we see 4 plus 4 is 8 and 4.5 times 4.3 equals 19.35 so that looks a lot nicer so again even if we do let's say for example if we just do a whole number and multiply it by a decimal number let's see what happens as well so I save my work click run script and look what happens our second value it still printed out a decimal value 17.2 so again and like I said for our mathematical operations you can change this sign to a minus sign and let's just replace 30 with 4 save the work run our program and again it does mathematical calculations as well so again I mean as far as the numbers it's very extreme it's extremely easy Perl looks at all numbers again as floating points or real numbers with decimal points and again let me go ahead and create another print statement and this time what I'll do I'll actually use an exponential number so let me take three and I'll do three and I believe e five so let's see what happens look what we have so for our third one I guess it's nine hundred thousand so so three times three times ten to the fifth power is going to be 900,000 so again we can use the mathematical operations on whole numbers and floating point numbers as well and just to show you guys we can use our power operator so 3 to the fourth power we run our Perl application is 81 so 3 to the fourth power is 81 so in a nutshell guys that's pretty much it it's extremely easy it's basic it's straightforward we're just using our mathematical operations to do math calculations on numbers as well so that's it if you guys have any questions let me know and um, I'll look forward to seeing you guys in our next lecture